and we are back. So, uh, it's been a while since our last time played. I kind of forgot. Well, I, to be honest, I did not forget because I this sunny. I'm out. Oh, is that an emote that says I'm out? Bro, you can't do this to me, Sunny. Um, the last time we played this game was quite a... Well, I don't know if you're watching with the bot, but for stream-wise, it's it's been a while. It's been a while since we played this, Sunny. And um, D is... She's listening, but she's not in the call, so she might pop in and out to say a few things here or there. But um, this... We left off with... It was like a prequel before Sotseki left his flat and um this actor the actor from the first part is dead and supposedly Sherlock was like he ate a block of soap which is why we thought he's dead but no he did not eat a block of soap he is not dead because he ate a block of soap he's dead because someone probably poisoned his tea so so at this point we need to I think we decipher that Someone poisoned his tea. That's pretty much it. And, dude, OBS got this crazy update. Look, I can pause the background. Look, I can even like rewind it and shit. It's crazy. Like, oh, did I just break my... There you go. Yeah, I can like do some weird shit with the background. Anyways. Alright, and we're just gonna move on like that because pretty much... I mean, from the VOD wise, I finished solving that he was poisoned by tea and he's been dead since like whatever like like he had to be he had to have been by himself and i think satsuki met him before but anyways i can't bear to look at this poor man's body imagine the pain he must have felt as he slowly succumbed to the poison all we can pray is that his happiness is that is in the next world he is boy and happy he's living poor man Dun. I suppose you're right, but do you think our Japanese prayers would help him? He is British after all. Huh? I prepared a little something just for situations like this. Praying for the deceased for dummies. British edition. What the fuck? <laughs> Please wait a moment. I'll start reading it now. You, you, you don't intend to stay here until you've finished reading that huge thing, right? <laughs> she was gonna read this man a, a good night story for his dead body. Twenty-one February, the bureau a murder also happened here not too long ago. How's your day, though, Sunny? By the way, Mr. Robert Dobbs flat. What about him? Whoa, his room looks the same. The same. Have you seen the debate? Have you seen that debate? No. What are you talking about? The landlord of this flat, John Grabadeb. Greb Gra Deb. We fuck, son. Oh, we talking about the debate for the um the election? No, I actually did not see the debate. I would like to hear from you another time off stream though. I would love to hear about that. He lives on the second floor. Wait. What is that? The Soseki lived in the second, first floor. Right. He's the one who had the door kicked down and stumbled upon the crime scene. Wait, I thought you said you can't use you can't use your feet. Oh, it's you too. It's bad. Ooh, all right. You gotta tell me, dude. I'll watch it later. That sounds interesting. Good morning, Mister Grabadab. I, I must thank you for your work yesterday. Yesterday's trial. The landlord, Miss Grab, Mister Grabadab. A lot certainly had happened yesterday. Trial. 90 minutes of three men talking over each other very loud. It was like it was like a child child version of Among Us. Yeesh. I would have never imagined that yet another incident would pop up the very next morning. Yeah, someone said it was like an Among Us. Oh man, dude, that sucks. Mr. Gravid Gravidib, I I still I. Sonny, am I saying his name right? I I generally do not know. I don't know, but he's kind of sus. I don't I don't know if I'm, if I'm saying his name correctly, to be honest. <clears throat> Would you mind answering more questions of us today? Uh, yes, yes. You uh want to hear about that washed-up actor, right? It seems both he 
and the inspector are in agreement about Mr. Pretensi's situation. Hey, Kevin. <gasps> he's getting his cane up. <laughs> Look, he's like tilted. I, I heard you were the first to find him, sir. This morning must have been quite rough for you. Ugh, that washed up actor always wakes up at 5 a.m. on the dot. But this morning, the heat in his room still wasn't turning on by half five. So I went to knock on his door, but there was no answer. That's when he kicked down the door and stumbled upon the crime scene, correct? Uh, more specifically, I got that pale Japanese chap to kick it down. Oh, okay, I was like, I was gonna say, like, there's no way this man can kick down a door. Like, this man's got a broken hip or some shit. I can't believe you kicked down his door. What if he just overslept a little? That's what I was thinking. If there is a common, if there is a common reaction, I would be, I would be kicking down Naruhodo's door every morning. Uh, uh, better to be proactive than reactive, I say. Oh, did, did he just, did he just look away from us? Unfortunately, your actions turn out to be reactive, anyways. Mr. Pretensy. So the victim's name was Mr. Pretensy, right? Pretensy. Am I saying that right? I hope I am. Yes, William Pretensy. He's he's been living on the ground floor for three months from now. What kind of person is this, Mr. Pretensy? In a in a word, a bumper, 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 people, bumper, bumper would the best describe him. Pump pure per. That's a Kevin. The only reason people rent out my rooms is because they're dirt. Cheap. <laughs> you know how the, you know people smoke pipes? They, go, they, like, they like pucker it. Only bumpers and loons would want to live in a dump like this. So Seki did sound like the latter. Oh, that's very fucked. Not all though. Uh, mind your manners. Wait, I was thinking that though. Wait, hold on. How you... Oh, it uh, seems he was conducting some kind of research. What kind of research? Oh, Shakespeare. That's what it was. I read some of his work during the long winter nights. Romeo and Juliet, that's what they was. Uh, William Shakespeare is the most renowned classical playwright in all of Britain. Wait, is he? He's branch? He's... Mike? What? He's British? I didn't know that. <clears throat> He's well loved even in Japan where his work has been adapted in the name of Sao. 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 That's an interesting change from Shakespeare. I'm not surprised though. His room is filled with stage costumes. That reminds me. Soseki was studying English literature, wasn't he? His interest must align well with Miss Mr. Pretensy. Oh. I hope this was an attempt to murder after the Shakespeare debate got violent. Naruhodo, how many times do I have to tell you to mind your manners? Wait, I said that in my mind! How is she reading my mind? So you came straight home after Soseki's trial, didn't you? Has anything seemed out of place between then and now? Oh, let me think. I got home around uh, 6 uh, so last night. Snow was falling and I was pitch black outside. My wife's in jail. I cried all alone and had to do the deeds myself. That washed up actor wasn't in his flat. So I'm assuming he knows because the lights weren't turned on. I was devoted of all motivation, so I stepped out in front of the fireplace. I believed he returned around 8. He was definitely alive until 1, at least 1 in the morning. I assumed he was poisoned after. I was asleep at that time though, so I can't be sure. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Why are these texts so slow? What's wrong, Susato? Nothing. It's, I just I just thought what he said was rather strange. Mr. Grabadab, you, you were in this room all night, weren't you? As you can see, my leg is in the best state. It's a struggle to even go downstairs. Then, how did you know about his movements so precisely? For example, you knew when he returned. You even knew when he was alive at 1am. Oh, oh, 
Oh yeah, you you can't hear sounds from the ground floor all the way up here, right? Is this landlord actually a peeping John? Ah, oh, don't don't be so rude. I'm a I'm a proud war veteran. I have no reason to peep on my worthless tenants. Then how did you know? It's the gas. The gas lets me know. The the gas? It's like I got the runs, you know. Let's have a, a smidgen of a fart. Could you tell us more, Mr. Grabadab? How can you tell us what your tenants were doing based on the gas? I presume that the gas is distributed through pipes. Yes, yes, I thought it might be something like that. In other words, all rooms in the building are connected by a single gas pipe. The gas company then sends gas to that pipe. Well, I get that part. No, I say I lit the gas lamps in this room. What would happen? Um, the room would be lit up, right? Exactly. But, as a result, any lamps on the other floor is momentarily dims. Whoa, do they, do they really? When one light of a lamp is... When one light... When one... But the, what? When when one lights a lamp, oh, lights a lamp, okay, haha, <laughs> it consumes a large amount of gas for a short time, so naturally, the amount of gas running through the pipe itself would decrease for a time. And that's why the others dim. At least, I summarize in that case. I get it? It's because the pipes are connected! But should that really have been such a noticeable effect? The gas companies around here don't really provide the best equipment. The amount of gas passing through the pipes is try at best. I don't even think I said that right. On the other hand, if I turn my lamp off, the other room's lamps would brighten. Oh, so basically, you can tell how much gas other rooms are using by the flickering of your own lamp. Precisely. When a tenant returns to his room, you know, I don't get... I eat food, I drink stuff, even sugar, and every time I start reading, I start yawning. I hate it. I hate it so much. And I'm like, why? 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 Right. <clears throat> when a tenant returns to his room, he goes to sleep. There's only one thing he does. He turns his gas appliance off or on. Uh, yeah, I like it dark. Excuse me. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <clears throat> Every floor have gas usage is ever so slightly different. If you pay enough attention, you can start to paint a picture of how each tenant lives. Oh, I feel like I've just learned something incredibly useful. Good for you. Not that this is very useful for our defense. More importantly though, why does Mr. Gravita care so much about their routines? There's, there's got to be something else behind this. Yeah, that's a little fucking strange. Gotta say. Do you know anything? Mr. Grabadab, could you take a look at this? No. <laughs> it's just so much has happened to me these past few days. I don't... My wife's in jail. I... My leg's broken. I can't even gel my own hair anymore. I don't have the energy to look in your direction. Um, you... But you're looking in my direction. Okay. These shelves have been mercilessly crushed, as though assaulted by some rampant beast known as your wife. Good thing she's in jail. Saying these shelves remind me of the Battle of Midwan. Wait, my one. I suppose veterans has many triggers to the memories of the war. He's like starts freaking out. Oh, uh, surrounded by enemies that. Oh, sides, it was... Oh, God, it was hopeless. I remember it was just like yesterday. He pulls out a gun. Bang, bang, bang! Ah! We had no choice to retreat, but we were under such heavy fire. It was, it was awful. That's a that's a shame. Sounds like a perfect recipe for a big turnabout. If I may impart you with some wisdom that I've learned that from that hopeless battle. When something is hopeless, it means that there is no hope. None. That's what hopeless means. For the sake of my investigation, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Is this dish still burned? A big partitioning screen. I bet the claw marks from that incident are still there. 
Goodness gracious me! It's been a long. This will be long before that mess gets cleaned up without a maid. I tell you. What? What? What happened was truly awful. People do talk about fate playing jokes on them. But for a joke, this this isn't very funny. Do you see me laughing? No, but I bet fate is. Hey, cause your wife's crazy and she's in jail. You still like your wife, dude? Dude, if you had a wife or a, a husband that threw or that got mad and threw anything, ashtrays, fucking pillows, a knife, I don't think I'd be with that person. That person'd be cray cray, dude. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, is that a dress? It's an oh, it's an apron. There's an apron hanging on a cannon-shaped washing line. I think I think that's not a washing line. It's a real cannon. I I know. I was just trying to be funny. That cannon is a war hero. That thing has spent countless years on the battlefield. It's seeing it out of finally years in quiet retirement with this old veteran. Oh, I might need him to come out of retirement should anyone come to attack me. I... I wonder if he's really expecting that to happen. I... Why would you have a can... Why would you have a cannon in your room? Oh, I didn't realize they released a translation. So! So, Pi, I have terrible news. I found... I have terrible news, Pi, about this. My dumbass didn't read clearly. And they only have... Episode 1 and 2 translated, and I was like, fuck. I started the first one because I was super excited because I play every single Ace Attorney except this one. I'm doing nothing but Ace Attorney streams. Like, like I have three games for streams, and Ace Attorney is one of them. And by the way, hello, Pi. And this is episode 2 of. Um, oh, I should put. Uh, God damn it. I need to put in the title. Um, case 2, Act 1. This is the second case. And apparently the third one is almost done translated, but then they're going to release the fourth and fifth one together. So that's going to be like a super long time. And literally the, the Japanese one right here, this one, the first and the second game are literally connected into one giant game. So if you play the first one, you're going to be left on a huge cliffhanger. So after this one, I just left myself on a huge cliffhanger. So instead, I'm going to stream the very first um one and then do all of it so i can vod it and also put it on youtube because my best friend has never played ace attorney she's only seen the very first game from youtube and that's it so i'm gonna do it for her yeah right i'm so sad yeah i i did that and i was like fuck i shot myself in the foot really hard and i got really sad anyways <clears throat> this is a strand magazine oh, oh there it is the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. All of London's is clamoring for his stories. I've never quite been able to believe that such an unnatural detective as him really exists. <clears throat> I ended up watching a streamer who knows Japanese. Really? That's really cool. That's that's pretty neat. I had a friend who was like, no, I'm not fucking doing that shit for you. I was like, I'm just fucking around, bro. <clears throat> and then I met the man himself. He wasn't just a unnatural, he was supernatural. In fact, I say he was even more hatterous to human health. Uh, Susato, maybe we should have put Iris, maybe we should have Iris put Mr. Holmes' victims through thoughts in this novel too. I don't care what he thinks. Nobody wants to read opinions like that. It's a, thanks to loyal fans like Susato that Mr. Holmes will go on to more fame and fortune. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to rush it. I, I've had some viewers who've come in and been like, yeah, I watched the whole thing on YouTube and I, I maybe I should have waited because it was a really good one. And I'm like, fuck, like, I'm, I, I don't want to wait. But like, I set myself up for failure, dude, for reading too early. This is Mr. Grabdev's military uniform. <clears throat> Indeed, this is my parade uniform. Wait, I thought you were in the army. When I retired, I hung it up there. It's been on display ever since. Oh, it's collecting dust and pee. Take it if you want. It doesn't hold much value to me. After all, it's soaked in pee and sweat. It reminds me of a little bit when Prosecutor Van Zeeks wears. If you wear something as showy as this, it'll be no match for you, Naruto. Yeah, that's that's rough. But luckily we have all the other Ace Attorney that's out, so my boy, we're gonna be doing that one. I'm super excited. 
I've been playing the I actually if I don't know if you know Pi um on my YouTube YouTube um I actually have the whole first game um uh, done. I played the entire first one and I did the whole thing. It's all vodded and then I cut off all the breaks. And yeah, it's like 35 hours of sh of just straight up of the whole game. I think you managed to insult everyone in this room, as well as a certain somebody else. I... Is there anything else I need to do here? Do I... Wait, who's at the gal? Wait, who's here? Who did they arrest? They didn't arrest Satsuki, did they? By the way, hello, Pi. Good morning or good night? I, I don't know what time it is in Australia. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dun, 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 dun. 2 p.m. Okay, but here. Yeah. Hey, yo. Okay, 2 p.m. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, when well, you do stream, just go ahead and tell me. I'll leave a lurk on my, my dude. Leave, leave, leave that dank lurk on, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We just we just found out how he died, which was supposedly by T. So <clears throat> he must have spent a night performance here at Shakespeare in an empty room. If you're aiming to be a, for the big stage, you can't slack on practice. Naruto, why don't why don't we you my fuck a fuck I can't speak today Naruto. <clears throat> Why don't we make you a little defense bench in the attic? That's kind of fucking cute. What? Then we can rehearse every single day. If you wear a fake beard and play the judge for me, I'll think about it. Uh, anything for you, Naruto, though. Anything for me? Even a fake beard in bed? I mean, uh, on the witness stand? I'll be sure to remember that one. What is, what is that? What is that? There's somewhat of an oversized meter mounted on the wall. What the frick is that? T was too spicy. T too spicy, so he died. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. This must be a gas meter. It says here that you can buy gas with coins in this area. What? What? That's like paying for laundry coins. What are you paying for gas? Yo, coins. Oh, that explains the small coin shaped hole in the meter. So you put a coin in here. <laughs> it's like a gas meter. You put a coin and it makes a fart noise. <laughs> 25 cents. A dollar. <clears throat> right. If you get enough gas to use a gas lamp and a stove for around two hours, that leaves anyone poor and penniless shivering through the night in their sleep. Even the rich will shiver through this night if they forget to keep some change on hand. Oh, it's way shiver for 30 seconds. Hey, Curbs. Welcome. We should have counted ourselves- <coughs> We should count ourselves lucky that we don't have to gas meter in our rooms. Oh, yeah. What's with this king's robe? Do I need to examine everything? These stage costumes are dazzlingly gaudy. They stand out quite a bit, especially since this is the scene of a murder. This costume looks fit for a king. A King? I'm actually a little taken by it. I think dressing up as a daimyo would suit you a little better, though. Yeah, I guess I would like trying wearing my hair like in a top knot. I am Japanese, after all. I'm sure it would look great, especially since you have a sword with you. Though, I'm not sure it would be wise to walk around London with a sword and a top knot. You look like a freak if you do that. A freak, I tell you! A freak! <clears throat> This is a cupboard for storing kitchenware, but I only see a wine glass and a bottle inside. Oh, he's uh, he carries a sword on him. Burger King. <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong one. <laughs> and they're both hilariously cracked. Oh, <laughs> yeah, anything you pour in them would just probably leak straight out. Is, is something the matter? Oh, nothing. I just... I was just thinking about that prosecutor, the Grim Reaper. Uh, Prosecutor Van Zeeks? Given how many glasses he throws, surely he must have enough to donate a few to this flat. If you want to try asking him about it, be my guess. 
Is the pro tag a weeb? Nah, dude, he's Japanese. How are you gonna make fun of him like that? Damn. It's the sword of his dead. If his, it's the sword of his dead. If his dead best friend. Man, that's fuck curbs. How could you say that? Wait, what is that on the floor? It's. What is this? It looks like a small scrap torn from an envelope? I guess it is. Maybe it's from when the letter he was open. Is it that important? <laughs> Sorry, I'll just see myself out. <laughs> it just bothers me as far as I could see. There are otherwise no emblems or letters to be seen. Oh, she she's right. So, why is this torn of envelope here? Don't you find that a little odd? Yeah, agreed. Let's take this with us just in case. You know, shove it that shit up my ass. Put that shit in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Is there anything else to investigate? Wait, what was that? Oh, is it oh, a lamp? Aha! So this is a gas, gas lamp, right? It's connected to the pipes on the wall. The lights in the stove all use gas. One might even call London a city of gas. <gasps> now that I think about it, it fucking smells like shit here all the time. <clears throat> Doesn't Mr. Gravidab have a large fireplace in his room upstairs? Oh, you're right. He doesn't have a gas stove. I like fireplaces more than gas appliances. It's really fun to watch the flames dance. I, uh, if I had a chance, if I ever get my own house and I have a backyard, I want to make a, um, a, um, I want to make a, um, fuck, a Japanese style fire pit and have a little metal pole that hangs the pot from above it. I think that would be so fucking cute and cool. I want one so bad. Because I really want a kitchen. I want an outdoor kitchen. I want what uh, Uncle Roger says. Real Asians have outdoor kitchen. Have two kitchen. One to inside the house to impress the guests. And one outside to cook for real. If you only got one kitchen, then you fake. Something like that. Dude, I want my house to have a huge ass living room. So I can be second hell for some Smash Bro games of the boys. I want a big living room for only one reason dance floors and ddr and vr i want one so i can like hang the vr from the ceiling with the wire this is a teacup that mr pretense he drank from <clears throat> oh but don't drink from it please the leftover poison might make it rather bitter i wasn't going to there's nothing left in it anyways sheesh if this is the teacup that mr pretense he used the other teacup must have been the one that sosaki used but so Seki hasn't been poisoned, right? We better take a closer look just in case. The pair of teacups have been filled in the cold record. Oh, oh. Card record! So now you think about it, uh, Pi, does that mean you've played all the Ace Attorneys before? I can make room exactly for that and other for gaming and sleeping. Oh, wait, 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 you see that? They got, sta they got rim stains. This is the cup that Mr. Pre tends to use, right? There's a reddish stain on the inside. That's a tea stain, like the kind left behind green tea. Really? I've never seen one before. You... you haven't? Wow, you're fucking uncultured. Whenever I get tea, I just chug the whole cup down at once. Drink it while it's hot. That's what it means to be a Japanese. Surely there are better parts of our culture to share with, with the British. Isn't that the teacup that Soseki used? It's spotless, unlike the other one. He must have gulped it. He must have gulped all the tea before he could leave a stain. Great minds think alike, huh? If you only take little sips, the tea will get cold. I, I suppose I, I suppose I have much to teach you about the way of tea. Whether it's the cracks on both sides, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Oh my God! What? Okay, what if it's poison? Hold on, hold on. What if it's poison? Right? But the poison isn't effective when the drink is hot so this this man drank his tea when it was cold and that's why he got poisoned and someone was probably out to kill both of them what if that was the case
As we noted in the past, these windows are filled with bricks. There must be because of the window tax they used to have. Apparently, this is actually true. I looked this up. I think it was like 1850s. Apparently, the British Empire levied a window tax long ago. Your tax increased depending on how many windows you had. It sounds a bit drastic. It's true. They said they tried to do that because the government wanted more money. So they tried to tax people for ridiculous things. So what people did is they, they, they used bricks to cover it up. They'd be like, that's not a window anymore. The poor, the poor would block out their windows like this to avoid being forced to pay high taxes. Oh? What's the matter, Susato? Uh, the brick in the window here are loose. Wait. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck is that? It looks like somebody forced them apart so they can be... Oh, <clears throat> it looks like someone forced them apart so they can be removed. Your brain's very tiny. My brain's massive, bro. The ridges are... The, it's like it's like a the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I wonder where Mr. Pretense did this. Oh, not all though. Take a look at this. These are the strange lumps. There are these strange lumps, the gaps. They're just outside the window. Outside? Outside the window? Dude, teach me, bro. You just gotta, you just gotta have, your brain just gotta be de massively developed. Save for the landlord quarters on the second floor. All the windows are filled with bricks. This must be a relic of the old window tax that have been set in place long ago. These are the, those are the lowering tax. Yes, we got this, Susato. You have to explain it to me. Yeah, you told me, but it was repelled. Yes, I got it. I get it. Okay, I get it. I'd say most people who live around here don't have the funds for such renovations. Are you taking easy curves? That's a sh that's a shame. And thanks to that, Soseki found himself stuck in a little flat with no sunlight. I suppose that might be considered the tax you could pay for living in such a cheap place. My, the world continues to find ways to suck pennies away from the penniless. Wait. Is it not going to let me investigate the outside? There's a bicycle in front of the Grabadab's home. It seems that the bicycle are popular here in the British Empire. But the front wheel looks all smushed. Hey, maybe it's designed that way with some sort of extra challenge for the rider? N no, I. That would just be an unnecessary hindrance. With the front wheel that smushed, the rider would find himself smushed before long ago. I wonder if Soseki was the one who was using that thing. That must make sense. He doesn't seem like he'd be very good at these kinds of things. Wow, that's fuck Susato. She was like, this bitch ugly. You were over here! Yes, I was excited! Why? Wait, why? Where'd you see me from? Oh, you- oh, yeah, 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 I, I said hello in Ethan's and then- And then I said, yeah, I'm gonna lurk and do some things. Yeah, I'm streaming, that's why. I'm also lurking Drewby and Michelle and Ketson, that's why I- and Q, so I was like, where? Where'd you find me from? I remember you're from the, uh, the Ethan Pie Ludo Drewby circle. That's like the, the circle I know. <clears throat> Hello, Excite. Yeah, I don't have his chat up though. I can only keep one window up at a time. If I put too many windows up going at a time, it lags real bad. Anyways, uh, let's see. Maybe I have to examine it again? Is it because I didn't examine it? Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, I gotta examine it again. Whoops. Uh, it's so cold outside. Well, it did snow all last night, but there are some white snow-covered lumps in this gap. This is... this is soap, isn't it? Uh, soap? That's a bizarre thing to leave on your window still. I... I agree. And there are two of them at that. They're sitting together like old friends. Why is there soap in the gap of his window? This is certainly off to me. Let's just take one with us. There's another one here, so I doubt anyone will miss it. Hmm, I don't know about that. Wait, there's something strange about this bar of soap. Huh? Hey, Pat. Uh, look, look at the center of it. The color is different. It's kind of translucent red. Oh, this must be fancy soap. You know, this must be fancy. You know, we kind of begin the great word empire. You know, fancy soap. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, uh, it looks like the Japanese flag. Isn't that cute? This might really be upper class soap. Oh, it smells like Japanese people. It's like racist soap. I'm surprised the phrase upper class even crossed her mind in a place like this. Cheap soap from a windows flat of Mr. Pretensy's flat. Two bars were neatly lined up on the window still. That's gotta be it. Okay, there you go. I was like, if I don't fucking finish investigating, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, seems like you do pretty. Let me just do my crime scene. Oh, it's him. Oh, Inspector Garrison. He certainly came back earlier than expected. After all, throwing that mustachio man in a cell, I contacted the crime lab at the yard. Scotland Yard will be accompanied this crime scene in less than five minutes. I, I see. Well then, we'll take our leave here. Satsuki must be feeling so fearful in that gall right now. Yeah, you're right. We should- Whoa! Wait! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, he's not dead! What, what the fuck just happened? We should at least show up for... Is something the matter, Naruhodo? <gasps> oh my god, he's not dead! I thought he was fucking dead! Ah, uh, fuck, I think. Um... Oh, out, out, breathe candle, lights, but a walking oh, shadow. <laughs> a poor player that struts his fritz, his, his hour upon the stage. Huh? What, what was the next line again? Like, bro, what's the... <laughs> and then he heard no more. Ah, yes, yeah, that was it. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, he... Uh, he's alive? So wait, what the fuck was this entire case? There's no dead body. Why is Soseki arrested? He... 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 He wasn't dead? <laughs> um, so, uh, what, what exactly was that? It's from William Shakespeare Macbeth. Those lines are from an Act 5, Scene 5. Shakespeare... Shakespeare, huh? But wait, wait, is he dead now? It, wait, what just happened? And thus, the victim William Pretensy suddenly began breathing again. Whatever poison he ingested, it seemed that it wasn't a fatal amount. After we called an emergency coach, Mr. Pretensy was rushed to a hospital. We were then chased out of the crime scene by Inspector Garrison. Is it to be continued? What the fuck just happened? I thought he was dead! What do you think will happen now? I... I don't know. Soseki was arrested, like, on suspicious of murder, but now the victim just, like, miraculously... You know, revived. Holy shit, bro. Well, I suppose it was more correct to say that he was never dead to begin with, but... It's almost certain that Mr. Pretensy ingested poison. What, was it an accident? Attempted suicide? Attempted murder? Until we clear that up, Soseki will most likely be detained in the gal for a while. Holy shit, detained, huh? Well, it'd be nice if it was just all that happened. That I man was a corpse. I witnessed his rebirth. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Huh? Wait, who the fuck is that? What's that guy? What, what's he doing? What? What are you staring into the building for? Hey, you fucking weirdo! Uh, it's something the matter? Hey, uh, excuse me, may we have a word? Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, he... He ran away! Uh... I... I feel as though I've seen that man somewhere before. Hmm, I... I don't remember him at all. Well, I say we better investigate everything in, of interest here. How about we go back to the gal and see what Sasaki has to say? Okay. Yuki sus. You looking kind of sus. Hey, you don't call my girl Susato sus. Or you gonna be looking sus. You know what? You're all sus. February 21. Gal, so nine. Man, this, this man literally just got out of court and went right back to the gal, dude. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks so bad. This man sucks so bad. 
He is going to go to jail. Look, Tanahada. It appears that Soseki's questioning has finally concluded. Substitute law student Naruto. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That man, he is he some kind of spirit, like a demon come to haunt me? Um, are you talking about Mr. Holmes? Well, Mr. Holmes tends to call himself a great detective. No thanks to his accursed deductions. I, I am once again. I'm. I. 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 I, I, I oh, 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 my life is cursed to the end. It kind of hurts to hear him refer to that as a curse. You participated in those deductions with great joy, after all. Ah, uh, well, you know, but but we got some good news as well. Oh. The victim wasn't really dead. He came back to life. So at worst, you only suspect of attempted murder. That's great, right? Like, right, Sasaki? That's, that's pretty good. It's not a great at all. Huh? It's that so, then why am I held up in this place in this sad life? You did it, didn't you? Confessed already. Damn, murder, you mustache is ugly. Oh, damn, they didn't have to throw that one in. A British man would, would insist. No, I don't. Uh... Soseki? What a self-centered victim! If you're going to come back to the life, then don't bother dying in the first place! Make up your mind! I don't... I don't think he was dead to begin with. But... But... but well... Uh, I'm glad he came back to life. I'd rather enjoy our heated debate last night. I would have been ever so sad with our last. Mm hmm? Oh. Sasaki, you fucking liar. You said you didn't see him last night. Did you? You you met with them. You, you lying piece of shit. And you were arguing with them. No comment. I'd want my lawyer. Yeah, I am your lawyer, you piece of shit. So, Seki, you're gonna tell us now whatever you want to or not. Oh. Uh, oh, such an accursed life I live. Okay, I'll tell you. I kissed him. I kissed him last night. I kissed him and we fought in the bed. That was the heated argument we had. <laughs> he said my mustache was beautiful. I tried so hard to fit in in the British Empire. But look at me now. So, what happened last night? Of course, my friend. I... I am so incredibly thankful for your efforts during yesterday's cursed trial. That was when Viridian was stabbed on the pavement outside so Seki's flat because I'm not- For so I don't know- I don't know what. Okay, I don't know what. Apparently, this is his wife- Okay, in the last episode, in the last game, this man was accused of murder. Attempted murder because this woman had a knife stuck on her back and he was the only one there But it turns out all it was was that a wife threw a knife out the window landed on the woman's back and I couldn't fucking believe it and it was just a pocket knife. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A pocket knife. It was all an accident because some some policeman Moved the body he moved the crime scene all because he wanted to have a date with his wife because he's never got rest like, Come on Wow, I I honestly feel so much longer than that ago. Longer ago than that. It's always me, apparently, Z. I trudged on home as soon as the trial ended, but at around 9 p.m., I believe I went to visit Mr. Pretency. So, you did visit the fucking victim, you stupid piece of shit. Then, you really? Perish the thought I have done absolutely no wrong. Last night was the first time I visited that pleasant gentleman's flat. Then... Why did you visit him? Oh, it's to kiss him, right? When I return, we happened to have a chat, but our conversation evolved into a debate. He was just leaving at the time, though, so I just put it on hold. Wait, leaving? The landlord did say something about the victim returning home around 8 p.m. I went to his flat around 9 p.m., bringing me, bringing with me a gift of tea. So the tea had been dunked at the scene was originally yours. And then you proceed to have a, a literary debate concerning Shakespeare. Hi, hi, hi. So, so, so does this, so does this. Exactly, that's exactly what happened. Romeo or Juliet, who is stronger? It was quite a riveting the discussion. Wait. In terms of like strength or like mental character? 
I think Romeo is stronger. Not because he's a dude, but because this man had the gauze to stab himself with the knife. And Juliet was like, I'm just gonna drink this poison that's gonna like put me to bed. And Romeo's like, oh no, Juliet. Oh, my sweet love. Fuck life. And he just stabs himself. Like that's, that's, that's commitment, bro. If you're gonna stab yourself with a knife, that's commitment. You know what I'm saying? What an interesting topic. Long live Shakespeare. I I don't want to believe it, but did the debate get so heated that you poisoned his tea? Nay, nay, I say, nani? Underscar? I, I scored a win for Team Juliet, in fact, when I left. That pleasant gentleman still lived. I swear to the gods in heaven. Hmm. Okay. Satsuki, I've been wondering, what do you mean by curse? I believe I spoke to that, spoke of this not long ago. But after this past year in Britain, I realized that I just don't, I don't simply belong here. I can tell, I can tell you struggle to adjust. Everyone around me, of honor, they look down, oh shit, oh what's behind me, they look down at me and laugh. Giggle, giggle, tee hee hee hee. Uh, did she she she? Whatever laughs that One Piece has, <clears throat> it bothers me so. I became afraid and to even venture outside. As such, I locked up myself in the room, but they even failed to elevate my fears. After moving flats countless times, I finally arrived at my countless flat a week ago. It's really been a week? But, like, why there? Why would you want to live in a place like that? <clears throat> Z says, I mean both Romeo and Juliet were idiots. Didn't even check if the other was real dead. Juliet fake dies. Romeo, oh no, she's dead. Guess I'll die. Romeo dies. Juliet gets up. Well, shit, this backfires. Guess I'll stab myself. And now they're both idiot corpse. <laughs> hey man, sometimes you forget to check, you know? It's like sometimes, you know, you, you need to pee and you forget to pull down your, your, your boxers and shit. And you just piss in your boxers, you know? It didn't happen. So I get it. I get it, dude. I get it. It's all about the price, you know? It's all about the money. Money, money. Of course, there is a reason. It's cheap. The flat is cursed. In what way? Apparently, the previous tenant had just died before I moved in. What? Really? He was so young. When I hear one morning, he died a mysterious death. Uh, wow, yeah, like... I I definitely wouldn't want to live in the flat with that kind of history. Fun fact, did you guys know in Diggy's household someone died in her household? Like 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 people who used to live in Diggy's household, there was a death in there. And her family has a sixth sense, so they would constantly see shit. Fun fact. My boy Skeletor, where'd that sound? Silence you fatty fool! What up my boy? It's not I'm not late, let's go. You right. So, um, we found a suspicious guy, Skeletor, and for some reason, the, 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 the bricked window, there's a gap in it, so. I'm standing up because I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm getting too sleepy. <clears throat> Even as I hesitated for a moment, when the real estate agent recommended the flat. However, my desire to spend money on books won out, and I came to welcome that history. Believing this, he signed the contract within the day. Quick as lightning. Oh, Final Fantasy 13. I'm struggling to decide whether he's brave or not. But after I moved in, I was made painfully aware of the truth. Oh, the specter of my flat was no mere rumor. The, the specter? The fuck is the specter? Is there peeping Tom? So, what sort of thing has ha has the specter been doing? Oh, it was low shit. It was long before I gazed, as if someone was keeping a close eye on me. That sounds more like your mind playing tricks on you. Oh no, well, it was certain that wasn't the work of my imagination. I just, I had the dark lock on the door replaced, but since then, I've been tormented in my sleep. The tormented? You mean you've been like having bad dreams? You know? 
the spirits of the room's victim clambered on top of me, trying to strangle me to death. There's a demon. There's supposedly a sleep demon. Like, like you know when you get sleep paralysis, you wake up and you can't move? Supposedly, there's a demon that causes that. That, like, it sits on top of you and it stares into you. And if you, like, if you don't mentally make yourself aware of it, you can actually succumb to it. It could just be your mind playing fuckies tricks on you and, and your friends and my friends just telling me ghost stories. But supposedly, there's a demon like that. And he's telling me... I, Cause I have some six sense, six sense friends, and they're they're weird. Last night was no different. Oh, while Mr. Pretense was breathing from the pain of being poisoned, I was writing about the pain of spirits wrapping their hand around my neck, my thick fat neck. I would I would advise that you leave that room and never look back. I agree. That is why I am already on the prowl, searching for my next haunted flat. His name is Trevence. Really? Or are you just fucking with me, Skylar? I've I've considered giving up on the hundred flats. Or before long, you might be the next one to become a specter. Oh! He definitely didn't like the sounds of that one. Damn, Susato, you set him up for fucking fear. In truth, Mr. Landlord has been worried about the curse of the flat as well. Mr. Grabidev has. Look at him, he's like <clears throat> Well of course, if people keep dying, nobody would want to rent a flat. That's true. I can't say that I would want to rent it. Oh, perhaps Perhaps the reason Mr. Grabadab observes everyone by paying close attention to the cast lamps. That's his way of making sure that the tenants are safe. Is that what you want to say? Observing the situation on the other floor by observing the gas lamps. If there isn't a problem with the gas, I see no reason to be so worried about it. What is this about watching the gas lamps? Uh, oh, no, you, you don't need to worry about it, Sotseki. It, uh, it certainly sounds like I need to worry about it. Uh, anyways, Mr. Pretensy is alive. When he wakes up and explains what happened, he'll be out of here. I will pray that this is the case. Ah, wait a minute if you would. Oh, this guy. Oh, it's an old myth. Yeah, it's an old myth. Hey man, it's demons, yo. <clears throat> Inspector Garrison. About what you just said just now. I've got some good news and I got some bad news for you folks. Uh, what? Which do you want to hear first? Potato or potato? Well, of course I want to hear the bad news for us. Hope should be final. Hope should be the final pleasure. Those are the words that I live by. Wonderful. Now start with the good news. Oh, what? Huh? Come now. The bad news won't make sense otherwise. Oh, then why would you bother asking? The victim regained conscious just a short while ago. Yeah, we saw that terrifying moment for ourselves. That was fu that was actually fucking scary. That's fucking scary. Imagine, imagine being in a room with a dead body, investigating, and that shit actually wakes the fuck up. Like, like his, his pulse was gone. This bitch, rigorous mortis was setting in. This bitch was stiffening, like a wiener. Like, like all of a sudden he just wakes the fuck up. Quoting Shakespeare. That's fucking scary, dude. <clears throat> We're taking a statement under watchful of the eye of the doctor. Wow, that's wonderful news, isn't it, Sotseki? Finally, my name would be cleared. I can return home. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but that won't be possible. What? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, Mr. Pretensy is accusing someone of that incident last night. What? Accusing? Someone? You, you don't mean... Oh, I do mean... I mean you, Mr. Natsumi. What? He's accusing him? Bro, I mean, I guess that doesn't make- I guess that does make sense because unless he didn't meet with anyone, so Seki was the only one who actually was met with him. <clears throat> Last night, I drunk that Luciet poison and nearly met with my death. The detestable perpetrator is that Soseki Natsumi. What? 
Thus, you will be judged in court as originally planned. You best prepare yourself. Are you fucking- are you kidding me? This man's getting accused for two crimes and all he did was just like, let me get you some tea, my bro. Let me get you some tea, homie G. And this man's getting accused? That's fucked up, dude. If I gave- if I gave my homie tea, if I walked up, I was like, hey, yo, Skeletor, let's go drink some tea together. And he had a stomach ache, but he had- he had a meal with the tea. Are you gonna blame me? That's fucked, dude. I've never met, uh, like, I've never met Curbs in my life, or Pyrone. If I ever met Curbs, Pyrone, or, like, any other guys, I was like, hey, yo, let's just get some tea and eat some food. And all of a sudden, they get food poisoning, they're gonna be like, hey, Larry, that tea gave me food poison. They're, they're, no, no, no one in the right mind like that. This fucking racist people, dude. And so, that's Suseki will once again take a seat in the defendant's chair. Whether he is cursed or just terribly unlucky, that path I choose remains the same. I will stand in the court tomorrow and serve the chains that bind him. So in the first in the first episode, right, we talked about how um, there is a case and Sotseki was Sotseki was involved in that case. You blame the worker who made the food and tea, right? Um, but Sotseki was also called back, and when he came, when Sotseki came back to Japan, he gave. Um, Susato's dad, um, a thingy. He gave Susato's dad a thing about, um, about the two trials that he had to go through. And because of those two trials, he called Susato back from Japan immediately. So, I think it has something to do. This case is actually important. Because I think this case is trying to, I think this case specifically is trying to break the diplomatic relationships between British and Japan. Because they're trying to frame a Jap Japanese man for killing and assaulting for, for attempted murder on, on a British man. I think that's what's going on so far. The Crown Court of the Old Bailey. The atmosphere is surreal as always. Fear penetrates me to my core, but another part of me is, is aligned with determination. I didn't think I'd be back here so soon. That would be my line! Good morning to you! Oh, Sotseki. Good... Good morning? Oh, but it's been two days since I was declared innocent in this very court! Right, he was found innocent for stabbing Viridian Green. I'm on my way to Viridian City! And yet... Early morning, yet! Early yesterday morning, yet another incident! Tremendous! Hissed. You know, maybe he's not wrong when he says that he is cursed. Naruhoda, this is terrible. Wait, what? Oh, uh, what is it? My, if it isn't Sotseki. Good morning. Oh, a good morning to you too. Your life is in good hands. Yes, yes, very much appreciated. Uh, and what's so terrible? I implore you to tell me, legal citizen Mikotoba. Oh, oh dear, you. You heard that, didn't you? A tea! How, how silly! <clears throat> what with that ghastly cry? How could I not have to rip through my ears? Oh, my, my apologies. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Can you just... Can you tell us what's wrong? Dot, 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 dot. It seems that the one who will be standing at the prosecution bench for this trial. Don't tell me it's once more Lord Baron Van Zeeks. Are you- well, This man is involved in any trial that I'm in. Lord Van Zeeks? God, what, what the awful news? Why is he- You see, and we don't know. Like, this man- Okay, so the prosecution office does not work with the inspector of the yards. Okay? Now, in the first case, in the last, in the last case of the first game, there was a giant incident going on. And- a scandal that someone was leaking evidence, government evidence, out. And it was clear that those notes were government evidence. So what is Prosecutor Van Zink's role in this? Is he a good guy or is he a bad guy? But it sounds like he's a good guy and he's trying to expose the government. And the government's the bad guy and the Lord Chief Justice Vortex is actually the bad guy. And Lord Chief Justice Vortex is the top uh, office pro- is the He's not a prosecutor or anything, is he? He's a prosecutor. No, he's the judge. He's like the higher. He's like the the justice administrator, justice administrator guy. 
<clears throat> Two days ago, Soseki and I found ourselves cornered numerous times by his pursuit. Yet, somehow, he managed to win a non-guilty verdict in the end. However, it may be too early to decide victory. I assume you remember why. How could I forget? It isn't every day I come across such part such a fear frightful legend. Defendants who stand in the court of Lauren Van Zeeks are doomed never to achieve salvation. Oh! Right. Even those who earn a non guilty verdict will eventually meet with a mysterious end. I mean, we experienced that kind of unjust outcome ourselves once with the burning carriage. A client we had was defending met with such an un utterly terrifying end. And Gina's in jail for her. perjury. <clears throat> Oh, why? Why must I be scrutinized by those f eyes of fridged ice once again? But should, should I be cursing myself, the evil spirit, or mishaps even the Grim Reaper himself? I am done for! It almost feels as if... As if you've been anticipating your end, Sotseki. Substitute lost to the Naruhodo! Yes! Ah, I'm innocent, I tell you. Please believe me, even if only you do. Th that is enough for me. <laughs> of course I believe you. I swear that I would fight for you to the very end. It seems that this is going to be another tough battle. <sighs> well then. Sorry for the bad news. It's almost time for court to convince, convene. Let us head to the crown court. Right. Oh, I just realized. It seems Mr. Holmes didn't actually come to see the trial after all. It may be better that way. What do you mean? If he was here, I feel like I would end up relying on him more than I should. And the instant we show any signs of weakness, we've lost. That's what I mean. Not all though. Oh, you, you are correct. Yes, very correct. Well, said substitute lost to the Norhodo. I, I pledge in this katana that holds the spirit of a Sogi. As a defense attorney from the Empire of Japan, I'll fight a battle that I can remember with pride. And I'll be right with there with you. Bum 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 In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, we declare this court is now in session. I ask you, prosecutors and defense, have you fully prepared your case? He's like sleeping. The prosecution is ready. The defense is ready. Dear Japanese boy, what do you need is not preparation. But preparation H, ah, 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 but rather the necessity, the necessity, resolve to accept the inevitable guilty verdict. As I thought, it wasn't my imagination. I could feel Lord Van Zeke's intense animosity towards us Japanese. Oh yeah, because he was betrayed. He was betrayed. This man was betrayed by another Japanese guy. That's what they said. That's what he told me. In fact. Lord Van Zeke's title of the Grim Reaper is a relic of long ago. For many years, she left the court, never again standing at the prosecutor's bench. Yet, <clears throat> he suddenly returned. In my trials, no less. A Japanese man. A legendary bringer of death, huh? A prosecutor shrouded in mysteries. I may have my questions, but what's more important is that I focus on the fight before me now. It seems that both of us are ready. Now, a Bob has a six fine citizens of the capital city with strong minds and sounds and sense. Hey, of course I'm ready. I always find it out that this man was declared innocent. And even more cruel, calculated on the days when my opponent refused to recover on you. Oh, how I wish I could savor the pain of your steel heel that you stepped on me. Wait, what? I have a meeting with the board of directors at 10 a.m. Try this as soon as possible. I feel ya. 
If I don't get my 15 shillings worth today, I'm dead meat. <laughs> Juries don't exist in our countries. These successes have absolute power to determine the verdicts in British court. The moment all their verdicts are in line, judgment is cast down. I didn't think they'll throw me in already. Six people chose randomly from the pot. Wait a minute, randomly? Bullshit! Only one of those are new! As it happens, this defendant was brought to the trial not two days ago. Therefore, we summoned as many of the same jurors as possible to stand here today. Oh, that's sir. Uh, not a trial for good. Oh, for like sakes, your opening statement is please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I do not intend to condemn you, however. The pot is only 10 people apparently, yeah. They're missing the mate though. Our meeting today is a direct result of your failure to declare this Japanese man's guilty. Far from the repentance of his sins, far from setting himself on a true and just path. The defense simply ran and committed yet another horrific crime in our city. He attempts to murder a sinless Englishman living quietly on his own home. The prosecution would like to call its first witness. Wait, there's a witness? <laughs> the inspector in charge of the crime, signed crime scene and the defendant himself would take the stand. These two together? He's like, oh shit, witness, state your name and occupation. Yes, sir. Tobias Garrison, expected of Scotland Yard. Criminal Investigation Department. Oh, I am Sotsaki Natsube. Yeah. Oh, I am an exchange student ordered by the government to study the English language. Oh, the funder. Yes, my lord. I believe you swore before the court that you would never end up in the defendant's stand, see how I can. Oh, oh, I remember as though it was yesterday. It was only two days ago, my lord. Not one, but two days ago, my lord. Which may explain why you feel that way. I am standing here because I want to. Now then, inspector, please give an explanation of the incident. Right away, my lord. Wow, just like that, huh? The crime occurred on the floor before... on The <clears throat> the crime occurred on the floor bef below the defendant's flat, owned by Mr. Grebedib. More specifically, it happened in the victim. In the victim, one Mr. William Pretensy's room. The defendant admits to have visited this room on the same night. The victim collapsed right after ingesting a poison called Strychin 9. Realizing something was amiss, the landlord broke down the door and find the crime scene. No, wait. So Seki broke down the door. Why would Soseki return back to the crime scene? It's not him. He's not sus. <clears throat> Which means at the time of the crime was the door was locked, correct? Quite so, it was locked from the inside, and as such, one could have neither enter or leave. The victim, Mr. Pretensy, may be alive now, but there is no denying that he was very close to death. Oh, shoot. Furthermore, I myself was at the crime scene after this incident's discovery. As such, I have a photograph that captured the scene at the moment. What is that puddle of water? Oh, oh dear me, I, I couldn't fault anyone for believing that the victim was dead if this is what they saw. Right, everyone who saw him at the time believed him to be dead. Oh, thank you much, Inspector. The court will accept this photograph as evidence. One more thing, the further. <laughs> yes, my lord. Uh, do you have anything to say in particular that you would like to say? That flat is haunted by a specter. Oh, uh, what's this about a specter? 
A countless strange events have been occurring one after another in that flat. The previous tenant in my room dies a strange death. The lady stabbed right outside the flat. My neighbor is poisoned. And then there's me. Despite looking hell and hearty, I almost have to deal with death so many for two times. Almost met with death. Uh, oh, what exactly do you mean? That night was the exact same. After returning from Mr. Pretense's room, I I lit a gas stove with a blazing fire and snuggled into my bed. But then the gas stove went out, and death tried to force itself upon me with an air it was so knowing. You uh, really shouldn't leave the stove on when you go to bed, you know. Oh. But the, no, the London winter nights are freezing icicle, where icicles were even hanging from my nose. However, my shivering self is now being made to look like poison, my own neighbor. Oh, will this curse stop but nothing to ruin me? Well, I hope I do believe I'm in such a situation now. I would like to bring everyone's attention that there is one very fatal fla fact in all of this. Oh, and that would be. Mr. Pretency has thankfully already regained conscience. However, the moment he did, he accused the defendant of poisoning him. The poison he drank that night was in his tea. What's more, that very same tea was prepared by the ill intended defendant himself. You really gonna go there? You really gonna go there with the tea, dude? Bro, tea's tea, man. It's not poison, it's a detox. Horror. Horror. Right, this, this is the most important part of this case. Assuming Soseki really is innocent, why would the victim accuse him? What do you have to say about this ac accusation, defendant? I, I did intend to... I did indeed bring in piping hot tea to his room that night as a token of goodwill. The water and pipes had frozen up. So I even went out of my way to go and buy some water to boil. But this is my fruit of toils. Shall ne I never shall I prepare tea again. The water pipes were frozen? This is the first I've heard about that. Oh, by the law of the British Empire, the defense has a right to at least one of the assassination. They request a testimony from a witness. Do you have any objections or process? I have none, my lord. The testimony for your actions on the night of the crime scene, defendant. Yes, my lord. My actions at cursed night. It is true that I visit the victim's flat at around 9 p.m., tea in hand. I don't had literally the beta company by steaming my tea. I left my room about 11 o'clock. Then that man locked my door with his own hands. My tea was harmless. Strytosian is a low acting is a slow acting poison. You wouldn't die after drinking it. The victim wouldn't have been able to lock the door for us. No problem there. I forgot to say something. I'll say it after this. Hmm. I don't see any issues. Actually, there was something like that in that testimony that caught my attention. So Seki claimed that his tea was harmless. I'm sure that the cup must have already been tested for poison. Oh, she she's right. Well, the thing is, the appropriate tests have yet to be performed. Oh, you don't mean that the tea cups haven't been examined properly. Well, why not? That's the first thing you should have done. This, this, this. Don't get the uniform in a bunch now, Japanese boy. What? They would have jumped at the opportunity to test the culprits if they could. Are you, are you saying they couldn't have? There wasn't a drop of tea left in the pot or the cup left the crime scene. I'd say these two buffoons drank every last bit of it. Hmm, even Mario taking his hand. All his knee was one tiny drop. I see. At the any rate, the victim consumed nothing except for that tea on the night of the crime.
Sì, oh, oh sì, sono riuscito. E torni, mi hai detto che tu hai preso un po' di duro. Huh? I'm sure that even. <laughs> I'm sure that even you can hear their unspoken decision. They, they know that the defendant is guilty. It's been all but decided that your client will be sent back to the girls. Before long, you'll be known as the boy who let his countryman perish. I like the Jewish glass in me at an instant. But I have to keep my chin up and back straight. Now the first begin your cross-examination. Yes, my lord. Okay, so I just want to say something. I was actually awake since 12. Like 12. Like 12 p.m. Like in the morning when the sun was up. And I only, I took a nap. So I only slept about four to five hours. So I'm actually really tired. So I'm going to get a snacky snack and we'll go wake myself up. Take a small break. But there was a to be continued. So I think this would be a good time to take a good break. So. Break time. I guess see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay. Mata! <clears throat> Were you close friends with the victim? I was not. No, I absolutely wasn't close friends with him. Never ever, as the British say. Uh, he really quick to deny that one. So, what brought you to his room that night? <laughs> right? Mr. Preet says he was quite an imputed scholar. He inspired to study English literature as I did. A few debates naturally occurred between us. I wouldn't expect a Japanese man to understand the true significance of English literature, even though my voice is not of a British man. <clears throat> Were you also discussing literature the night of the crime? That day, I returned home after being declared not guilty. At around 6 p.m., I bumped into Mr. Pretency in front of our home. Oh, I remember now. Can we get Emma? Can I? Maybe I should do like a flash with like a whoosh. The you know the guy who was staring outside of his house. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 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 um okay, okay, okay. Remember? Do you remember the case? Okay, hold on. Let me finish this. <clears throat> Our short chat had quickly intensified, and thus we decided to continue debating later that night. In the bed, he happened to be busy just then. So we chose 9 p.m. as the time in his room at the place. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all, I say. Never ever. He certainly was quick to deny any assumptions. Testify about what happened when you visit the victim's flat. So, I remember. I completely remember now. You know the guy who's staring outside of his window when he ran off, right, Skeletor? Were you did you come in when you saw that? He is. There was a there was a part where we were investigating the crime scene for Soseki's first case with the knife, right? So remember, this is just two days ago. If you think about it, this all just happened within two days of each case. Or three days of each oh, I would say four, maybe four to three days of each case. And um, pretensy, we didn't know who he was. All we knew was that he lived where Soseki lived. And he was arguing with someone. You remember that? He was arguing with someone in a yellow suit. I almost forgot about that. That's why uh, uh, that's why um, Susato knew who that, or remember who that was. That, we don't know who that guy is, but he, he has something to do with this entire thing. But we saw him before. We've seen a picture of him. I, if I was a VOD, maybe I could like throw up a little flashback video like <laughs> The Red Hot literary debate <laughs> This literary debate was about the works of Shakespeare, right? Oh Shakespeare, you say? That's quite the classical topic for to fight. Indeed it was, my lord. Romeo vs Juliet, who is stronger? Undoubtedly a fascinating topic. Uh, oh, I wouldn't expect much from my memory if I was you, but yes, I would say you're definitely a big brain. Thank you, Skylar. Romeo versus Juliet. Who is stronger? Out of curiosity, who won? Well, we decided it would be faster to settle it to a real-life experiment. Thus, we fought it out in Jiro's menial style, of course. Uh, excuse me? 
Mr. Pete and she had costumes prepared in this room for such occasions. But by real life experience, you don't mean you were actually in costume. Oh, he was Romeo, and I was Juliet. At the end of the deadlock battle, Team Juliet regained the victory. It was my def defining moment as a Japanese man. This man LARPed with another. This this grown ass man LARPed with a grown ass man role playing characters from Shakespeare. Oh, I don't think I imagine anything more terrifying if I tried. That aside, it is true that you prepared the tea and shared it with the victim, correct? Hi, hi, so, 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 that's it. Yeah, 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 yes, I, I boiled the water in my room and I, I brought the pot to him. I've heard that this man was poor, so he couldn't even afford to drink tea. Come to think of it, I didn't see any tea leaves in the victim's room. I, I only wish to be a hospitable neighbor. Why must you all look at me so doubtfully? My blacker than midnight tea is innocent, I say. Why, fuck in the places of your killings. The man locked the door with his own hands. My tea is harmless. As I recall, there wasn't even a single drop of tea left anywhere in the victim's room. That'd be right. The chap emptied his pots as soon as though as he licked it clean. Not a drop was left, according to our investigations. Satsuki, you you returned to your own room at 11 p.m., correct? What if this man was just malnourished? What if he was just malnourished? And what if this man drank nothing but tea and was like, I think I'm gonna eat some soap with it. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, quite so. I swear in my holy light of heaven. The landlord testifies to that effect as well. Said the defendant had returned to his room about 11. Oh, how could the landlord be so sure? He was just sleeping. Yeah, he was, what if he gave him like some sleepy tea? He's like, that motherfucking Japanese man poisoned me and wanted me to put me to sleep because he saw that I had trouble sleeping. Stop talking to me at Discord. <clears throat> well, he said that the fire and the lamps told him. The, the, the lamps. Sasaki probably turned on the gas in his room, making Grabidev appliance flicker. Mr. Grabidev seemed rather obsessed with watching those flicker. I can say with certainty that this man's room only had the one key. As such, he must have locked it from the inside. The victim must also mention this. I also mentioned this. That there must be proof that my tea is innocent. You drink it, you drop dead. That's the only time you can claim poisoning. Sorry, but it's not that simple. No, oh, why not? Stry Strychnine is a slow acting poison. You wouldn't be able to die after drinking it. How long does it usually take before the effects of the poison man manifest? <clears throat> According to the doctor who performed the diagnosis, it takes about 30 minutes. The violent spasm leads to paralysis, and eventually, the paralysis reaches the respiratory system, so you suffocate. So it takes about 30 minutes for the poison to take hold of the victim. It's kind of amazing how many different types of poison there are out there. Why is this whole game all about poison? The first doctor was killed by poison. The first one was another set of poison. Why? Oh my god. Oh my god, Skeletor. Oh my god, Diggy. I don't know if you're listening, Diggy, but oh my god. What if... Okay. What if this whole game is about the development, the relationship between the British and the Japanese Empire, and that one of them is making poison? They're trying to develop poison because they're constantly talking about the development of poison and medicine. So what if in the very end, it's going to come down to a poison? And that it has something to do with the poison. Yo, what's with this perfect being such as a British that is selling their hands with blood? Poison is clean. <clears throat> 30 minutes, not 20, but 30 minutes. That is more than enough time for the killer to leave and for the victim to lock the door. He's right. 
This means that it's not impossible for Soseki to have committed the crime. I have the medical record that the doctors wrote concerning the victims. The crime was impossible for all but the defendant, and this document proves it. What? That don't make sense. Get that shit out of here. He starts tearing at it and shit. Oh, I could. The court accepts this as harmless. It really does say it. A slow acting poison. I don't like where this is going. Is this really a piece of letter? Oh my god, the poison was in the letter! Whoever, whoever opened this clearly didn't have any scissors at hand. Yes, it was certainly ripped off rather forcefully. The culprit must be quite violent. Judging by the angle of the tear, they must have been right-handed. Uh, Sato? I think you've been reading too many Sherlock Holmes stuff. Don't frame it as such a bad thing. I actually didn't check this soap either. What's with this circle though? Huh? What's the matter? Something about this soap is different from before. Wasn't there a red metal thing like jammed in here or something? Oh yeah, right? I I seem to recall that, yes. But now there's only a dent. Maybe it fell out when we weren't looking? So what is that red circle? That's weird. A small dosage. Within 30 minutes, place in tea but no sample is available. Most likely. The soap is a cup holder too. The British are really amazing. Investigation report is an estimate that he ingested the poison around 1 30 a.m. on February 12th. This estimate is based on a watch that was most likely broken and he felt unconscious. Nothing could. It's this. So it was estimated then that he took the poison. Nothing contains poison was found at the crime scene. This. Wow, this is a really bad estimate. No problems at all? Earlier, the defendant claimed that the following. That night, the two drank tea together, so if anything was to happen to a poison in it, the victim wouldn't have been able to lock the door due to the poison's effect. Me and my tea are innocent, then the poison the flea. Wrong. Strato 9 is, uh, is slow acting. The symptoms don't manifest immediately. Thus, if the defendant left within 30 minutes of drinking the tea, the victim could have locked the door on his own. But, 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 but we both drank the tea right away. Romeo versus Juliet, who is stronger? We would not fight without the boot. Belly's full of tea. And do you have proof to support this claim? In my homeland of Japan, we have a certain saying drink your tea while it's hot. Oh, wow, I only if I could use those proverbs as admissible evidence. Look, you said the exact same thing. I, I'm forced to assert that the defendant's claim has no logical basis. It is abundantly possible for him to have committed the crime. But, 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 so this is what I have to work with. There's something on my mind. May I? Of course. What is it? Satsuki is very vehemently proclaiming that he's innocent. All the while, Inspector Garrison is coolly and calmly crushing his clams. It's infuriating. You got that right. You have to find, we have to find some kind of contradiction in Inspector Garrison's testimony. I agree. Otherwise, the jury will be happy to turn down their verdicts. I just need to focus on poison and tea. Poison and tea. Poison and tea. Poison and poison and poison and tea. Huh. The victim would have been able to lock the door, no problems. Cut. All right. I'm just that. That's just for me, so I can I can slowly think on stream, and when I edit this, I'll cut out this whole part what I'm thinking. Hmm. Come 
I don't know. I don't know at all. It's not even letting me cross-examine the witness or doing the, the, the thingy. The soap's a cup thing. I left my room at 11.30. Oh shit! While you're thinking, it has some shadow wounds. I appreciate that skill, Tor. While you're thinking of some shadow world. Hmm, I don't know. Let me eat my vitamins. Thank you, Skeletor. 13 months, man. Can you believe that? You've been a year, and I really appreciate that. Oh, shit. Wait, didn't he say the water was... The pipes were posed? Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, cause like, okay. If they were drinking tea together at 11.30, at 11, if they, if, if they visit, and if he, if he came at 9 p.m. with the tea in hand and they drank it together, then he left his, that doesn't make sense. Because supposedly they're saying he drank it at whatever. Oh look, I was right. And we're back, guys. I was right. It was it was the third phrase where he says he left at eleven, and it's the victim's medical report. That 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 was the contradiction. Well, not well. So they're saying that okay. So what they're saying, Nathan, is that he drank they saying that he drank the poison at 1 30 a.m and they based that on when he most likely broke the watch right so but he's saying he left at 11 but if they were drinking together then he would have been knocked out way before that so it contradicts that statement so seki you return to your room at 11 p.m correct oh, yes i do as the english say Inspector Garrison, there are no errors in the medical report, are there? I doubt you find a single problem with it. On the contrary, I found a rather large one. There is a time discrepancy between Soseki's testimony and the medical report. A, a time discrepancy? What are you talking about? According to the medical report, the victim ingested the poison around hmm, 1.30 a.m. However, the defendant, Soseki, left the victim's room around 11 p.m. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah uh is right. There is a gap over two hours. Grrr. In other words, if there is an actual poison in Soseki's tea, this two-hour interval creates a clear contradiction. God, they did the same thing. Those fucking guys. These fucking guys. Oh, the defense is quite right. What do you have to say about this, Lord Rashix? Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink my water to imitate the sounds of him slurping. The fucker didn't drink his water. Damn it. First wine. My, my. Right down in. Right in the middle of a trial. How uncouth of me. I plead your forgiveness for losing myself in the loss of the lunch. Loss of a lunch to accompany this holy creole. He was thinking about food. <laughs> a contradiction, you say. Please. This Japanese boy seems to be under some sort of delusion. You got a red hot guy. Get you. Oh, fuck. I want the fire guy. I think I know what you're talking about, Nathan. D delusion? <laughs> the white poison and Van dies right there. His hand just melts out. Bleeds out. Suppose the victim drank the tea at his own. After the defiant... Def 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 fuck. I cannot speak today. Suppose the victim drank the tea on his own. After the defendant left. 
And suppose he drank it around the time listed on the medical report at around 1.30 a.m. But Soseki prepared for them to drink together. And we have been saying in Japanese too. Drink your tea while it's hot. Regular ace turn because he's cool. He's a vampire. Then lend an ear to a proverb to a great empire. The smile of the goldness awakens with the cold tea. What? But wait, but the gap of two hours. There, there's, there's got to be another possibility. What <laughs> that possibility be? I, I, uh, maybe. Yeah, like, like another visitor who came to the victim's room. Another visitor. Quite a vague claim, Japanese boy. Or maybe the victim willingly drank the poison on his own. So, you mean to say it was a suicide attempt? <laughs> William Pretensi himself has denied that the possibilities of suicide is nil. <laughs> Slap. But, but what if Mr. Pretensi was lying? Oh, he's kind of, he's mad. It is something to matter, Lord Francis. Let's do tea just sitting it cold before drinking it. Me, I kind of forget. How the root of me to listen to the sound of carriages outside the court during a trial. I plead your forgiveness. Uh, the, the sounds of carriages? I believe that the star actor of this play is about to enter the stage right. Whoa, who's entering? Is it the victim himself? Who is it? <laughs> so secular card. Out. Out. Brief like a candle. Life but a walking shadow. Oh, a poor player that struts and frets his vows upon the stage. And then is here no more. T. Is that is good voice? Good voice. You guys got a suggestion for a voice I could try? What? A what? William a Pretensy, the victim of this very spectacle. Mm. What? Everyone, shut the fuck up. The prosecution wishes to call this man as a new witness. I believe his testimony will obl obliterate all of your vain struggles. He He's the new witness? But... He, but oh, first of all, the court is interested. Uh, let us hear a word straight from the victim's mouth. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, um, I am ever so grateful, Your Excellency. No, that's that's not a good voice. But I, I, I still have a matter of things I wish to say. I must express in the most beautiful English how innocent and harmless I am. Oh, with that, all the way. What was that fucking testimony? What kind of voice should I do? Cocky. Ignoxious. This guy he was arguing. That's the guy he was arguing with. Mr. Pretense he's here all well and good, but who the fuck's that fucking Popeye looking dude? This man's chin is bigger than his forehead. Call him a fortune, dude. The stern looking man next to him. I feel as though I remember seeing him briefly somewhere. Now then, witness, state their names and occupation. My word flies up. My thoughts remain below. We give him Pofu's voice. Oh fuck! Hold on, give me, give me a good reference. Okay, so kind of a deep, deep manly man. Okay, all right, all right. I'm back. Okay, my words fly up. My thoughts remain below. The prolific poets of a great playwright, William Shakespeare. How wonderful it would have been were I the reincarnation of he, uh, such as the musing, deep and proper. <clears throat> Such are the amusing of me, William Pretensy. Ah, I'm just a block named Dick Crow, Martin Meter Man. I walk in the East End branch of the Almut Gas Company. Wait, what? Uh, oh, now I remember. We saw him yesterday in the Bazaar Road. Oh, oh, yeah, we. That's right, we did see him out on the pavement. 
Yes, yes, we get the flashback. We get it. Man, look like a four chin, dude. This man chin might as be another like a ass seat for me, dude. Bro, this man's face, this man's chin's fucking thick. I don't like this man's thick, thick boy chin. Look, he did the same pose. He flicked his chin, and I don't like that he could flick his chin and it jiggles. That that upsets me. We we saw him standing right in front of Mr. Grabadep's flat. A gas company worker. What does he have to do with this? Well, William Pretense, you are, you are a, indeed a victim, correct? Oh, heavens and earth, must I remember? Indeed, I, Pretense, took a mouthful of that succulent poison. We received permission from the doctor to call this witness to stand. If we had heard the story from the man himself, I believe there would be no room for that. Ah, oh, yes, I am William. It is as though your will that I am. Thus, I shall splendidly and innocently tell the pure truth, just as you will. Me too. Oh. I can already tell this guy was going to be a real pain in the neck. I agree, but he seemed to have to make quite the impression on the drawers. All his ass thickness was just his chin, just a sad disease he has since birth. Don't, don't say ass chin, ass chin thickness, dude. That's fucking nasty. Yeah, he, he's got ass chin thickness. His chin isn't sturdy or hard, it jiggles. So, um, uh, why is the gas man here? Oh, you mean me? I'm just Japanese boy. Earlier, you so brazenly and adroitly suggested the following. Perhaps the victim entertained another guest in his room that night. Furthermore, the victim might be telling a big a fat lie. Just like my cook. <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't go that far. I didn't talk about your wiener. This generously chin gentle <laughs> generously chin gentleman. This man just fucked up this man's whole facial career. This generously chinned gentleman is here to crush those claims un unfootedly. It is not so, good chinsman. <laughs> uh, uh, I told you, I'm just some, I'm just some chin. Chinny chin, chin 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 chin. What was what happened on the night of the crime? Oh, that may, uh, that one may smile and smile be in vain. I shall all this is the front and back of the truth behind that winter that mid winter night's tragedy. Ugh. Oh my chin's so fucking big. Ugh, it's like my... He's like, yo, when I fall down and hit the floor, my chin breaks the floor first, mate. Twats, but a snowy night, my neighbors visit my room, bearing an overing of crimson tea. Bitter was the sweet tea. Once my neighbor had departed, I collapsed upon my table. Oh, that night I had inhibited naught but the dubious crimson tea. For a while I was keeping watch on this block's flat outside this frozen window. The only person who set foot in his room was this short hunchback chap. Wait, you were watching from outside the window? What a f- Hold on a moment. You said you were keeping watch on Mr. Pretensy's flat all night long? Ah, uh, yep. All his windows most blockly blocked off from the outside, but I couldn't tell you why. There's just one little tiny spot you can see to the window. I just thought to keep watch. Shivering and frozen solid to the bone. But, but why? Ha! Uh, well, you see, there was some special circumstances surrounding this block. Oh, what a piece of work is mad. Why the abdept statement, my dear Hamlet? What, what, what's that supposed to mean? This, f this fine, wide-jawed man's utterances are little more than fossil drivels. For the sake of this gentleman's pre for this gentle pretency, I would like to beg you to pay him no mind. Hey, you want to go? Oh, antiques aside, the most important thing to us is know what happened at the crime scene at that night. 
nothing else matters. Indeed. Oh, and as their testimony has made clear, nobody but the defendant had a chance to commit the crime. Nobody but you. You. That's a song. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna caught that reference. <laughs> oh, see, this testimony is likely to be today's last. Go on, defense. Please, give it a try. I, I, I dare you to try it. Oh, I dare you to try to pick a bone apart. Testimony. Hey, fucker! I'm gonna jail. <laughs> When you say neighbor, you mean Sotsaki, right? Ah, oh, indeed. Though strictly speaking, he lives on the floor above me. Uh, you know what? I feel like he has a Captain Jack Sparrow. I feel like he's a Captain Jack Sparrow with the British accent. Skeletor. Because of his... his because of, he, he's not cool. He's not cool, young in demeanor. He's like... You know, he's like Shakespeare, but he's also like giddy and happy because of his fucking face and the way he his mannerisms is like Captain Jack Sparrow, you know? I'm having more of that vibe from him. Ah, <clears throat> about the time did this hunchback mustachio Jap come to taint your home? So he's just a drunken British, right? Doesn't he look like a drunken British? Oh, Twat is nine in the evening, as we agreed. His arrival was accompanied by such a romantic tea. Oh, this master the finest testimony so far. We then proceed to partake in the most interesting and historical literary debates. If I recall correctly, Romeo and Juliet, who is the stronger? I do believe. I fought for Romeo, but he stood for my Juliet. To start of the debates, we don the respective costumes and dance on stage of violence. This sounds horrific. Frail Teddy, thy name is woman. I have heard of the tale of oriental martial arts known as Jiu-Jitsu. But my Romeo was not prepared to fight his Juliet, a master in the arts. Sounds like Romeo was treated to a serving of a Juliet toss. Putting the matters aside, the most interesting of historical literature debate aside for now. Please testify about the tea that the defendant had brought with him. As you wish, my master, I shall merely seek ahead of your early request. Yo, bitter was that tea. Once my neighbor had departed, I collapsed upon my table. You lying piece of shit. I don't have evidence though. Wait, hold the fucking phone. So Seki returned to his room at 11 p.m. And it was past 2 a.m. when the poison took hold. That makes me... That makes more than a three-hour gap. Ooh. Oh, look at me dance. Ooh. What the fuck is this guy doing? So let's suppose for a moment that the defendant did poison the tea. Tell me. How would you explain this gap? Oh, as a matter of simple that this is barely worth questioning. Huh? I did not in bean that crimson tea before my visitors had leave. Indeed, it may have lost its soothing warmth, but I did not drink it until 1 a.m. What? That, but that's clearly a suspicious claim. Not at all, for you see, a literary debate grew so ferenti, so violent that I had no time for hot tea. This must be that stupid Romeo and Juliet fight. If I may confirm one thing, William Pretensi, you claim to have delayed de to delay the defendant yourself, yes. Precisely, my lord Van Zix. The hunchback bookworm wanted to send me off to Valhalla. Ugh, this doesn't make me look good. All oh, that night I have been bitter not to but do is crimson the crimson tea. Are you sure you didn't say eat? Dinner? Ha! Huh. Such a thing does not exist in the world of pretensy. Huh? One meal a day, tis not a question of morning, midday, or evening. Oh, that's quite the same of you. I am one who endures to study a glorious playwright's work day and night. And that is why my room has become not but the collection of stage costumes. He tells the truth. 
When we investigated this room, even the mice had started to death. Wow. <laughs> now when I think about it, there really wasn't even a scrap of food when we went to his room. I didn't even see any books of theater at that. But of course, I ate those long ago. You... you ate them? Every player lives lives. Every player's lives live on his mind. Have I profaned your sense of decency? Okay, whatever. Stop looking at us from now on. As we have now made clear, that tea is the only way the victim could have been poisoned. Yeah. What is this man doing? But as I recall, all the windows in that place are filled with bricks. All thanks to that silly old window tax. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The window was stuffed filled with bricks, but whoever done it has missed a spot. I was watching through that little hole, peeping my little John through that hole. He's right, there is a small gap of bricks that can be seen through. Oh yeah, isn't there a soap sitting on the window sill for some reason as well? I got to say, watching some guy in his room all night in a freezing cold and my fun idea. But that's what the boss's orders. I give my life for the boss. Wait. I don't, wait, what? I think we could stand to tone down the red shakes for today. <laughs> By the way, witness, after the defendant retired for the night, did the victim leave the room at all? Oh, it's, it's a two against one, dude. They, they straight face lion. In fact, does this fact remove the possibility of attempted suicide? What? But how? The yard investigated the vicinity of the flat, but found nothing that carried poison. There is no evidence of the victim disposing of disposing of his himself. Then suicide can be ruled out. All the corporate would have to do is take the person's vessel back home with him. It does make a lot of sense. Hmm. <laughs> A short hunchback Japanese? Offensiveness aside, you're not actually sure if it was Sotsuki. Wait a minute. Wasn't Miss doesn't that mean Mr. Grabadab was also down there? A short hunchback mustachio Jap. London isn't exactly teeming with them. The gap throughout the bricks was small and the room was dark, so I didn't have any must mu so I didn't see any mustaches. But the guy showed around around 9 p.m., so I'm pretty sure it was him. When he turned up, did the two of them drink tea together? I don't know. Why not? Like I said, the room was dark. But I do believe that that hunchback Asian was wearing a pretty fancy fetching dress at one point. Dress? They had some sort of bizarre scuffle. Gonna make the head or tails of it. I I see. Is is he talking about what I think he who he what I think he is? I believe Romeo and Juliet were fighting for supremacy in the scuffle. Wheatneys, let's make this perfectly clear. You were saying that nobody but the defendant visited the room that night. Yes, no sir, without a doubt. Oh, who the fuck rejected? Him? My lord! What is it, Foreman? I I think I've heard enough of the standing alley by watching this farce continues. Isn't that right, everyone? Why are you making such a rash decision, dude? So then, do this. I take it you all have agreed on the verdict. Am I correct? Yes, indeed. You are absolutely right. Isn't he right, everyone? Yeah! Uh, excuse me, uh, r you're right in the middle of a cross-examination? Uh, to be honest, Mr. Attorney, I wouldn't expect more from you. It does appear that there was a bit of a trouble after the mustache defendant returned home. Hmm, a gap of the three hours. 
I mean, but during the gap, absolutely nothing happened. <laughs> as long as they established fact, nothing could sway our verdicts. And I told you, I've done it before. I didn't get my 15 shows by the other day. Huh? <laughs> huh? What? Good. In that case, allow me to formally request your decision. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Yuzai. 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 No, it seems that the protocol the jurors are lying. At the last, a fair judgment had been passed. All of this was nothing more than a formality. The jurors have sealed your client's fate. His guilty verdict has been cemented. Gosh, shit! Naruto, please pull yourself together. This trial is not over yet. S Susato, have you already forgotten what's written in this old code of law? There is still one right left to the defense that we have yet to invoke. Yes, yes, yes. A closing statement. The closing argument. Right, it's, it's a system where we don't have in, Jap in Japan. We can persuade half of them to overturn their verdict. That we can prolong the trial. I I can't let the trial end. I use whatever it means to necessary to keep up for the fight of the truth. The defense asserts his right to a closing argument. As usual, you don't know when to give up, Japanese boy. Unable to accept the truth, you cling to a long forgotten system. Oh, dear. There are none who still assert us rights in today's courts, attempting to overturn a verdict that has once been passed down in futile, after all. What, even though it's worked like a bazillion times for me? <clears throat> However, that right has not yet been erased. The defense requests his childhood, as are written in the Great British Empire Code of Law. You will commence the closing argument. Th thank you so much, my lord. Straight prepared, Foreman. I know this is the tiny stubborn whale. Stubborn is whale. I say, bring it on, I say. I say, bring it on, bring it on. Uh, on. People of the jury, <coughs> heed to the order of the court. Lay forth the reason in the purpose of the guilty product you have passed down. I'm gonna stop after this, by the way. The jury's assertion. The victim is a poor, virtuous, honest citizen. I see no reason to doubt him. Hmm, he has no reason to lie. He's kind of handsome too. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the defendant is a Japanese. Just look at his suspicious posture and mustache. There's no evidence that lanky gentleman is a fraud. No, there. No, yet. At least. Hello. I don't give a hoot. Just get on and hurry over this trial. Right? I'm serious. Huh. <laughs> Ugh, unanimous guilty verdict really is a heavy burden to bear. This doesn't look good. The jury is rather... <clears throat> the jury is rather taken with Mr. Pretense's virtuousness and honesty. I don't even notice. It's just weird dancing and prancing is too distracting. Unfortunately, it seems though Saseki's testimony has fallen on deaf ears. I can't let that get to me. Let's do this. That's right. I can't forget. Never forget. I persuaded the jury to see Soseki size once before. I'll do it again. Oh, by the way, if you like, I could give you a refresher on the closing how a closing argument works. What? After all, you haven't had much experience in the Crown Court yet. She is right. This closing argument is going to determine Soseki's fate. Maybe this is a good time to, you know, I don't know, ask for help. What should I do? Do I need a refresher on the closing argument? No! Thank you, Susato. 
but this is going to be my third closing argument. I think it'd be best if we just, just jump right into it. Okay, let's do that. If you get stuck on anything, please don't hesitate to ask for help. I'll do everything I can to aid you. The key is to use the jury's own words against them. Then, if I find a contradiction between the- Yes! What are you telling me? I don't know how! What the fuck? But then your closing argument! Yes, my lord. Closing argument. And this is and this is where we'll be left off on the next episode of Ace Attorney Naruhodo Daigakuban Saiban. Take it easy, everyone.